we are on the cusp of, of another boom in this city. The population is going to increase by 53,000 minimum over the next three years. So you can understand that um, a cut to the police budget and then a freeze over the next two years after the cut is going to put a lot of pressure on the service. Well, you know, in previous budgets, it always was about how much fat can we find, how low can we go in a tax hike. But now it's turned right around, upside down. Now we start at 5% tax hike for next year. By the way, that doesn't include higher water and sewer bills, maybe taking another tax grab in the spring from the province. But we start at 5% and we see if we can even get it higher than 5%. How is that? Because what we're being presented today is very simple. If you want it to stay at 5%, by the way, 5% seems to be the new zero now. If you want to stay at 5%, then you can't have an increase in the number of police officers. You can't have residential snow clearing. Seniors are going to have to pay more for their transit passes. And transit hours are not going to be what they thought they would be. So they take some of the big ticket items and go wham, bam, and thank you, ma'am, on this issue. And we have, please, please, the hope will be, please, please, just tax us 5%. You know, 7%, 8%, 9% to preserve that. In fact, there's something going to be happening. Aldermen on council, some of them are going to be pushing to have the tax hike at 7 8%. Who knows? Maybe more. We need to find ways to have more officers on the street, and we need more cars to put them in. So these are very strange times. Once, it was to try to get taxes down. Now, it's to try to get taxes up. For Sun News, this is Rick Bell.